Yo, it's your boy Cautious, man. Decided to take you on a trip with me back to my hometown, to my hood, to show you how I live and where I came from. This is my little nephew right here, Clinton, looking like Riley or Tito, bro, Chris, and Devin. You know what I'm saying? That's my cousin and my bro. You know, they always enjoy seeing me, especially when I come into town. When I come in the town, it's always just a quick trip. I usually just pop in and pop out. But you know, it's my mom, my dad. I had to see them. Since I'm always on the go, I had to drop by. And this here is Houston, aka Splash Town. I spent most of my adult years something like my stomping. Whenever you travel so much, you pretty much become from everywhere. So, you know, when me being in Fort Smith, Arkansas, you know, one of the first people I met was Moss, you know. I always kept it 100 with me ever since we first met. So, you know, he had a big part in, you know, my experience of me moving to Fort Smith. Him and my niggas, we all hoop. We took road trips together. And half of my road trips, making it back to Houston, he would be the one taking me to either to the airport or helping me get to my destination. So he always kept it 100, so you know, I try to do that in return. And I don't let distance try to mess up a person's relationship, business partner, partnership, whatever you got going on. Uh, mileage shouldn't mean anything, so I had to link up back up with him, even just out of appreciation. Riding around in the goddamn me Houston, and look who I done rolled up on. Boy, goddamn me, you know what I'm saying? What's happening? You know what it is, nigga. Boss Moss, Boy, nigga. Blowing this thing, man. Out here rocking with my boy Cautious, man. You know how we do it, man. Number love for my nigga, man. That's how we do this, though. I don't know how to really, I guess, prescribe myself, but I guess if you would ask others, uh, I already know that I'm weird, crazy, spontaneous. Uh, I really don't know, I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, uh, I can only just be me. Well, back in 2006, I joined a fraternity by a lot of enlightened men. And so, you know, being cautious was one of the things that we had to do. So, you know, I kind of just adapted that name. And ever since then, I kind of kept up the name Cautious. And that would also signify to, you know, any member of my fraternity, you know, I was a part of the brotherhood. Some of my hobbies, I would say uh, chilling with my friends, you know, I guess, you know, riding, just more of the simple things, you know. A lot of people expect my life to be, you know, I guess, living luxury um, or just, you know, a lot of things. It seems like my life is just full of fun of activities when it really ain't. That's just as far as perception goes, you know. Too many guys. I, I don't know why, but you know, I just chill with certain select people. You know, I just grew in Sebastian. That's kind of much what I do with my spare you know, When I get spare time, I kind of try to absorb knowledge. You know, try to find out some things that common people don't really too much care about. You know, some of the things that affect our lives. You know. Some of my life that you know, like you know how the world works. You know, not too many people care about things that they really can't control. But you know, just being knowledgeable about the things that can't control you can also give you power. So you know, I always preach, and if you know me, I'm always preaching knowledge is power. And you know, I try to absorb like information. So when you see me, you talk to me, and you're around me, you're probably gonna hear a lot of useless information. Things that you probably don't even care about are the type of things that people don't really too much have in their everyday conversation. What type of music I listen to? Mm, basically all genres. I would like to be in the future uh, doing something real big, something like either speaking, 
A lot of people are trying to influence positivity. Would like to, you know, maybe do some type of acting. How do I feel about the president? I don't follow politics. I don't go into all those details. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What happened to you? Uh, they think maybe it happened out of a car or maybe, or you know, some people think that I was born this way, you know, and I mean, it's funny what all the people think, but you know, just, it doesn't offend me or anything. I, I don't mind answering the question, but I got shot. Into life and another man behind the bars. The shooting happened just after two o'clock this morning on Price Circle in Fort Smith. Steve Tellier has more on tonight's big story. He is live. Steve, the victim is a first semester student at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Basically stalking me. I don't know if it was out of jealousy. I don't know if it was out of envy. But, you know, some guy, stranger, came and shot me. You know, and shot me, shot at me four times. But... Now, police say he had just pulled into his driveway in this neighborhood in Fort Smith when the suspect followed him into that driveway in his car. Police say that uh, the suspect shouted something at the victim. The victim stepped to the side of the car to see what he had said, and that is when shots rang out. When officers arrived, they found the uh, victim lying face down on the driveway of this residence. Uh, he was suffering from a gunshot wound to the chest. Police quickly interviewed witnesses who said they heard multiple shots fired. Uh, witnesses uh, told officers that they heard about four shots being fired and saw a black uh, vehicle leaving at a high rate of speed. Time in the chest. A lot of people think it hit me in the spine. It didn't hit me in my spine. Uh, my spinal cord injuries is are considered damage, life-threatening. So. He is uh, currently being treated for his injuries, and they are serious injuries. He was shot in the chest and is, is uh, you know, in pretty critical condition right now. The investigation led police to this man, 28-year-old Tomas Hernandez. This afternoon, police say the victim identified Hernandez as the man who shot him outside his home. We put together a photo lineup, showed it to the victim in the hospital, and he did pick out Hernandez and said that he was positive that he was the person that pulled the trigger. Now, Hernandez was arrested and is being charged right now with first-degree battery and discharging a firearm from a vehicle. Both of those are felonies. Attempted murder charges are possible if the prosecutor's office deems there's enough evidence for those charges as well. Steve, thanks very much. Police aren't sure what prompted Hernandez to fire on Steve. Really don't know why I got shot. There is some type of hope. My blow is driven the hardest. I won't park it regardless. Of the ones who's trying to kill my dreams. Well, if a man are back, then it's a limousine. Yeah, I feel like I can't go without a day. Somebody stressing me out. That's why I'm constantly getting fucked up. I feel bullshit from a mile away. It's easy to dodge if you see it before it comes. Before it comes. I feel like I can't go without a day. Somebody trying to take my smile away. I feel like I can't go without a day Somebody trying to take my smile away